Hello, we're going to make now a spiced winter root vegetable soup. I've got some local Lincolnshire parsnips which are in season and really nice and sweet and blend with the curry spices nicely. I've got some nice Lincolnshire potatoes which are quite flowery. It doesn't really matter what potatoes they are as long as they're not new potatoes. Um, an onion, a medium sized onion, not half a larger onion. We've got some Mr Hudders curry paste which I'll explain a bit more about shortly. And we've got some vegetable stock. I've used a stock cube for this which is quite acceptable or you can if you're feeling adventurous make your own stock by roasting your vegetables and adding your water. We're going to start by chopping up the vegetables into the into the saucepan. We're going to put about a teaspoonful of olive oil, just a little splash in the bottom so nothing sticks. We're going to chop up the parsnips just, just roughly. Use a nice big knife, keep the point of the knife on the board and chop downwards. That way nothing will slip and you won't take your fingers off. Okay, I've got a did have four parsnips. About 500 grams of parsnips for this. This will serve about four people. I've obviously peeled these previously just to save a few minutes. In they go. Nice and chunky because we're going to liquidise this at the end, so don't worry about how big it is. I've chopped those earlier on. Potatoes. If you chop the potatoes about the same, same size that you've chopped the parsnips, again, keep the blade of your knife on the board and chop downwards. That way you won't, you won't have any mishaps other than the potato rolling off the board. <laughs> again, in the pan. And then we're going to chop an onion up. This is just a locally produced Lincolnshire onion. Not particularly hot, not particularly sweet. A nice middle of the road onion. Again, we're going to chop it. Leave the root on. Can you see that? So the, the root, that's off, but it's still held together. Cut it in half. Then peel off the outer dry skins. This is where we all start crying. Chop your onion, always keep the flat surface to flat surface. So put your onion on the board, keep your fingers tucked under and slice down across the onion like that. Then turn it a quarter turn and do the same going over. When you get near the end, lay it down. There we go. And all we've got left is that bit that we haven't used. Same with the other half. There we go, and that also can go into the saucepan. We're now going to use the product that gives the soup its spice. This is Mr. Hudder's Curry Spice Mix. These are fresh spices preserved in oil. Okay, they're not cooked, so the first time you cook this, we'll get the full flavour of the spice. I've got some here in a bowl. There's about 20, 20 to 25 different spices in here. It saves you all the bother of blending it yourself. And we're going to put a good dessert spoonful into the saucepan. You can always add a bit more later if you decide you want it a little more curryish. Okay? And then we're going to put this on the hob um, and cook it through. Now we're going to finish off the soup. We've got in our saucepan our parsnips, potatoes, onions, olive oil, and Mr. Hudder's curry paste. We're just going to cook them, just going to cook them gently, just to infuse all the flavours. And then we're going to add. I've got about just over a litre of vegetable stock here, but you can add chicken stock if you like, or half stock and half milk. We're going to put some cream in at the end. Once, once everything's coated in the, in the curry, spi curry spice, we'll tip in the vegetable stock. Needs to be enough liquid to cover the vegetables. Once they're all covered and coated, we're going to turn this down so it simmers quite gently for about 25 to 30 minutes until all the vegetables are nice and soft. I'll pop a lid on and we'll come back to it shortly. The soup's been simmering now for 20 minutes, all the vegetables are nice and cooked and soft and we're going to blend it to produce the finished soup. We're going to use a stick blender today and do it in liquidizer or a blender.
We're going to add about 200 ml of water just to get the right consistency and then blend it into the puree. Once all the ingredients are blended up, this is quite a thick soup, you can adjust the consistency as you like. We're going to add four teaspoonfuls of double cream, just to give it a nice richness. We're going to just tear a little coriander into the soup just to finish it off. No need to chop it, it's nice and rustic, it's a thick rooty soup. Just, just going to whiz it round. And dish it up. Nice thick winter pureed veg soup.